It's proof of who I am. That's all the paperwork you got? That's it. Everything else is fucking... And you don't have a driver's license? It's all, it was in my wallet, man. Like, what, what happened to your wallet, man? Yeah, everything was in my bag back when I did the last cleanup. You know what I mean? So I had the For last Thanksgiving? Cleanup. Yeah, Thanksgiving. No, the one before that. Okay. So I had like four, uh, like four lazy boys or whatever with a wall built up nice. I had like big tower here, my guitar, guitar case. Uh, and I was sitting in a chair and they had the log come down. And then actually one of the dudes was kicked down here to wake him up. You know what I mean? Who kicked him? The law? Yeah, he kicked his feet, wake up, you know what I mean? Blah, 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 we're here. And then they started like tapping the shovels on the ground to wake us up. And I'm like, well, what's up with that? Like, just, we know you're here. Just do, you know, do something, be respectful, okay? So then I sat in my chair and then the law came down and they were looking at me. And then that, that one shorter uh, Hispanic male, he had a little mustache or a goatee or something. Mm -hmm. He was just like, all right, blah, 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 and they're doing all this ranting and everything and being very disrespectful. So after that happened, it's like they targeted me. They came out. They weren't even touching nobody's stuff over here, over there, and there was a lot, a couple more people that were here. And then it's like they just started the furniture first, and it was a private trailer, dude. It wasn't even a dumpster trailer. Yeah. It was something that was attached to somebody's vehicle. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I see the ones dumping the stuff into those things. I'm like, where did my furniture go? I didn't check those dumpsters afterwards. None of my stuff was in there because my backpack. I go check it, they go, you need to go where we dump all the stuff at over here. You need to contact so-and-so. I contact them, there's no nothing. No black backpack. Then I have my social security card, you know what I mean? My birth certificate, because I'm from California. So I lost those things, my guitar, my guitar case. I was sitting in a chair and I just had to take it because, you know what I mean? Yeah. Can you prove um, that you're a US citizen? Yes, I can. Okay. Good. Fingerprint me. I got pictures of California. Look who I, look me up. But what, what if they're too lazy to look it up and they're and just that's what they are because it's COVID things out now, so it's like we're sitting here like ducks and we're just rotten. Like it's cold out here, people die. You know what I mean? If you can see I don't have a tent, I don't have a sleeping bag. Uh, why don't you have a tent and a sleeping bag? Well I mean because they take it all the time, you know what I mean? And, and but people that come in here, you know what I mean? This is this was a spot and it pays a piece. I had food, I had everything for people, travelers, everybody that was out here. They needed something I wasn't going to go to to give it to them. Mm -hmm. And now it's just like they break me down because I'm trying to help. Mm -hmm. Like, um, people come here and they say, I need to speak to Quest. I hear some commotion going there, I'm running over there, you know what I mean? I'm first in, last out, all the time. Yeah. Um, are you an artist? Yes, I am. I mean... So Austin's supposed to be this liberal, progressive city that's like super nice to the home, uh, to the unhoused community, and that they're nice to the people of color and the poor people, and they're they're just progressive and they're nice. Like, is that? Do you think that there's maybe a disconnect somewhere between the reality and what they say they are? Big time. What do you think it big, is? Big, big, big time, man. Because it's just like we're human beings. You know what I mean? And I, everybody I've crossed paths with down here, there's some relation or something that connects us. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. I've learned so much by just listening to, to everybody and uh, just speaking to them. Everything has to do with creativity, art, some way of something, and everybody wants change. And there's there's some connection down here, man. And like, people work together, don't they? Don't they do, give we, like we actually come together? It wouldn't work. Say, and if there's people that are doing the bad stuff, uh huh. But it wouldn't work if people didn't share and, and like Look, people would. Yeah. Right people have, I and mean, that's one thing I notice if like every, someone's got some extra stuff and someone lost their tent, like people man, we, try to help we, we, each we, other we, out. Yeah, because we all know what it's like to suffer. We all know the shame, the guilt, the pain, and everything. Like. We would try to like, man, it's sunny outside, man. It was a beautiful day to just be out there, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, but they want to take that little bit of something and just take it away from them. Why do you and think they do that? Because they're seeing hope, man. They're seeing that change. Real life. And you think it, uh, what do you think it does to that? What do you think that they're feeling of the, that makes them want to like be, it seems like they're bullying. Yeah, I know, yeah. So why do you think they want to bully people? Just to, to let you know who's in charge. Do you think who that? Runs the show? Like you said, you're human beings. Yes. So do you think that the? I'm trying to get into the the head of the people that are doing stuff wrong, 
and stealing and abusing, harassing, kicking people, and using uh, shovels to wake people up. Yeah. What What do you think that do you think that they care that you're a human being? Do you think it matters to them? No, man. They treat us like we cage animals. Like animals. Yeah. Do, do you think so? They're working. Those guys are working for somebody who's working for somebody. It goes up to the mayor and the city manager and That's city right. council. They just signs a piece of paper that says, "Hey, man, take care of this for me. Bam, get paid." Look at, look at all that money that they're spending. Five hundred fifty thousand for, for all this cleanup. Five hundred fifty thousand this year. That's right. And That's I'm a what the individual. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I noticed, so I talked to them. Nobody else knows, and the, new, the newcomers that come in here are scared. They leave everything that they have. Mm -hmm. Every freaking thing that they have, they leave, and they just. Just, just disrespect for anybody's belongings. There are family heirlooms. Like, They're worried that when they leave, that the state will come, the city will come and come, take it, just, just wipe it out. That's right. And you got to get something to eat. You got to go to work. You got to take a me, shower. I you got to. I don't have no documents to tell who I am right now. And it's just, it's very difficult because my housing is like right here. The only thing I need is a Texas state ID, and I can't get one. Man. You got a case manager too? Yeah, I do. Good. And she wants to help. And she says it could take two months to get a social security card. Yeah. Okay. Well, I can't be out here for two They're months. slow because of COVID. That's All the like government that. agencies. So, so, but let me tell you this. Not one person down here, bro, has got COVID. Yeah. I wear this to go to a store. That's yeah. it. I don't go. People aren't getting down with the flu or nothing. Nothing. Nobody's getting sick down here. Yeah. Why? Because... Because you're in it. You've been seeing all it all, day, yeah. All day. <laughs> so, um... No, I'm very, very, very... Yeah. I get emotional about this stuff, man. It's just I understand. That, man, I ain't been home seven years. It ain't about me. It's In about, Cali? It's about this, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's about the whole purpose of everybody and what's really going on with the people. Like, what is really going on, like... We're out here, they see us out here, we fly signs, there's more people coming down here. And when they shut everything down, they're pushing everybody here. And it's just like, it's a daily fight. And it's, it's hard because there's no resources out here. You gotta go all the way up there where we were already pushed out. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's illegal to sit downtown near the arch. Yeah. They made it, I mean, uh, under their codes. So I'm kind of curious, um, these guys that came that one time and I guess uh, before Thanksgiving and, and woke people up with shovels and kicking people, who I was, was the doing one that they kicked. The, who did who did kicked you? Was it a worker or was it, it a was cop? A police officer. Police officer. Yeah. I was sitting in the back corner here where that slimy face is. And I was sitting in my chair and I was sleeping. And it was like a kick boom and it woke me up. I was like, whoa man, like what's going on? He was get up, clean up's here. And I said, What? He was get up or I'm gonna get you up. Come on. Like, it really scared me. I mean, it wouldn't they didn't scare me, but I was like, I was really on defense. Because you just woke up. I just woke up. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm sleeping. So it's like, okay. And I was the only one here. Usually when the cleanup comes, everybody gets scared and they leave. Yeah. I refuse to leave. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to. This is a place in my home. They know my name. They know who I am. They deliver food here. I go get my meal at sunrise. They all know that I'm here. You're legit. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is my home and I refuse to leave. So, my problem, not your problem, my problem is there's two kinds of people. There are kind of people that will stand up and stand our ground and fight for our rights. And then there's a whole lot more people who don't. There's a whole lot of other people that won't stand up for their rights. And I'm trying to like figure it out. Like how, like, do you think that it's better to just leave and just say, hey, I'm not gonna fight the government or it's better to stand your ground and speak up for your I'm rights? stand my ground and speak up for it because this one, this is a big fight that I've never, that I, when I came out here, I was a different person and it took all these different changes and different personalities and different, like people come from everywhere around the world and I've met a lot of people down here. And I take a little bit and I put it in here and here from what they've said to me or what I've known. And man, it, it, it's changed my life. But everyone's left. I can't. I don't have another left. I don't. I can't leave. Mm -hmm. If I leave, I'm gonna lose everything I ever fought for, everything I ever loved. I've lost family members, my father. Uh, a lot of things that are very upsetting. But that's just me. So I'm not gonna put that on nobody. But now it's like. I've embraced this thing as a home. 
So and I'm seeing all this disrespectful and all this torture and all this hate and, and, and just we're supposed to be scared of them or something. It's just we're not promoting hate and we're not out there robbing or stealing or human beings, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I'm about to get emotional. This is yeah, I'm very like firm on this. I go out there and try to fly, I don't make no money or nothing. I don't go steal. I go in the dumpsters where they throw garbage away. Mm -hmm. That's where I find this stuff, dude. And then I give it to other people that need it. That's what I do. I don't wear a mask for anything. It's just, I'm told to. And I feel like I'm some animal. Or, and you know, there's people out here that are really, really nice, kind people. And yeah, you're going to get, you know, get nuts in a bunch, but you beat those people out. We beat them out. So there can be some peace. And, you know, police yourselves, so you don't really need police if you police you know, yourselves. We need them. If we see weapons, it's, handled. it's done. It's handled. Exactly. Um, so I got a kind of question about. So I, I come from an environmental background. Yes, sir. And so if you're recycling, if you throw stuff in the dumpster, it goes to the landfill. And the landfill goes bigger and bigger. It goes miles high. Well, like, or not miles, I mean, you know, it gets really big. Yeah, yeah, and no. so, and square, I guess square area. So, um, if you guys take, if you take chairs and big things out of the trash and pallets or whatever, I mean, look, then look they're not going to the landfill. This You're reusing new. them. Exactly. This is brand new. You're doing a service to the community. Exactly. But when they come and take them in sweeps, they go to the landfill, which kind of undoes all that work that was done to create the, the uh, you know, to, to clean the landfill in the first place, to have a, right. another diverse source right. where people can reuse things that are, that are reusable. And the money that they're using to do this could be used for what? A motel, a hotel, a shelter. Five hundred fifty thousand this year is how much it is for the cleanup. Five hundred fifty thousand dollars. What could you do with that? Man, I would open up and I would run it myself personally. We've we've had talks where I would meet and over that man. Uh -huh. Like we were talking about like all these buildings they have rooms that are just sitting there and there's nobody in them. It's yeah. like man, like condos, hotels, rich people's See, houses. Saying, I told you I was gonna get emotional. It's, Focus. Tell me what to focus right down here. The green. A lot of it's been tagged over, but okay. You know, it's as it's as long lived black. Yeah, I see that one. There's a lot of shit everywhere on the railroad tracks and everything. How long ago did that happen? I didn't hear about that. I did not hear about four, that. Four months ago. I'm very sorry. Can we put it in the Challenger newspaper as one of the? Yeah, it was bad, man. I, I see them come down here. They were down here. They weren't talking to nobody. The police. They were just around us. The police. Yeah. They just tape it off. They came and got them. Came and got them. Did they tape it off and all that stuff? They didn't really investigate. They did. They just came and got the body. They left. Yeah. Then they hung around over there. And three of them hung around over here, and I was just like, it's odd, man. Like, I mean, my dad was a police officer. You know what I mean? Uh huh. And I, I, I when I was a younger kid, I've been around this side. I kind of like get a little vibe, but it's. it's, it's it's like, it's a horror film, man, and we're starring in it. Yeah. That's how I feel. They're just taking us out one by one, waiting us and weeding us out. But you know what? That's why I believe in God. And, and, and persevering through all this, I don't know, it's because of things in the past, or, you know, the signs that I missed, or whatever, but it's not about me anymore. It's about bringing this, bringing the community together, yeah. bringing, bringing Making awareness, like I even thought about like going to uh, what's it called? The, what is it? 
Sunrise? Any meetings or something? Oh, yeah. Say, saying something. Sure, we, we should come down there. I mean, they're not I'm having them now. They're, they're doing them online right now because of COVID. Yeah. But um, maybe we could find a way to get you on there. Something. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, we got to come together. I mean, you're right. We got to come together because, oh, I know what I want to tell you. So, how's the homeless this organization? Every year at the Homeless Memorial Tree on Auditorium Shores on Lady Bird Lake. Well, down that way. They, uh, they have this uh, memorial service for a homeless memorial service, and they have a count, and they read everybody's name that died from the streets in Austin. Yeah. Last year, guess how many people died on the streets last year? Uh, Take a while, guess. 100? 240. And the city doesn't care any more about any of us. They don't care about us living or dead. In fact, that's like, to me, that's the mayor's trophy. Because yeah, he's, he's, see, I, I was thinking something, he's orchestrated similar. this it's just, death. It's just like, it's his it's it's globe of uh, souls for the homeless or something. Or they call us transients, where we don't have names. Another transient bites the dust. It's like, bro, we are human beings. Americans. We are. We're supposed to have some rights. Supposed yeah, to be you know, all equal. Away. Well, I think well, we only they, get the ones we us, fight for. It doesn't, let me tell you something. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I dress like. Yeah. I can go to Goodwill and get a fresh pair of clothes, right? Mm -hmm. And go fly a sign. I'm talking about tie, button up everything. I will fly a sign. Uh -huh. Make nothing. And I can be like this, as you see me now. Yeah. But what they're missing is what I look like. Who I am as my shell, my aura, my energy, the love, compassion, and the drive that I have to, 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 to sit here. But I watch and I listen. And a lot of people don't understand that. Is I watch and I listen. I see all the corrupt ass cops. I see all this bullshit with the city. I see I see the change in its calendar. It's like almost like the calendar. Every three months it comes back and it's and I get a, it's like I get a feeling, my heart's coming again. Yeah. I talked to my buddy over here, and he goes, yeah, I feel it too. I said, well, just prepare that you got some supplies here, take it, you know, because they're going to come, they're going to take it. Well, it's like today, they, there's or no they're post. Gonna, they send people down here too. What do you mean? They got it like informing people. Yeah, yeah. That's and good they send them you know down that. here, and I'm like, I smell you, bye. No, bye, you are not crossing this line. Goodbye. Yeah. They want to get dirt on everybody. Yeah. They'll leave a pile of needles and take a picture of them. Yes, and I, and I always watch the cameras. Yeah. If anybody's doing a camera like this toward me, I'm like, hey. But I'll be very good. I'm like, hey, hold on. You got a phone, but it's not a flip phone. I got a flip phone. Yeah. But you got a big old phone. And you need I see my number. Light on. You need my number in your flip phone so you can tell me when they're coming. But today, I'm the one telling you because there's no posters over there with the current date. There's none. But it's there's on none. the schedule. I mean, the city's been just doing what they, they've been playing games with us to try to keep us from filming and from that's being right. there. And you know what? I didn't have a phone at the time. And that's another thing I've been working hard for. Yeah. And then, like awesome. I said about these people coming down here, yeah. they're the ones that are conniving, sabotaging, and getting these other youngsters or whatever that are down here on that side. I keep it straight and clean. Yeah. You don't hear any ruckus over here. You know, I'm never down we here. We are straight firm here. Yeah. And this is like, it's been, it's been hell down here. Like, it's been bad. But I do perimeter checks. I go to the railroad. I go all the way down. I go to the soccer field. I come back. I go all the way down over there. I see the tent hanging in the tree. Yeah, there's a tent down there. No, I took it. Okay. It's back over here behind me. It's got no poles. Tree, but no. Okay. No, I left a note. I said, Johnny Quest got your tent. Come talk to me. I got hurt out of here. I got injured out here about like, First year I was out here, 2016 in Congress, and I had a I had a black sweatshirt on, red undershirt because of the job I was interviewing for on my bike. And uh, I just got on the streets, and I was attacked and hit in the neck with a brick, stabbed in the back. And three of my vertebrae back here were fucking. They, they slip out constantly. There's nothing in between. Them. Oh. I was almost in a coma. Like damn, yeah, I, I don't even know. But I was in and out of consciousness every time I was getting kicked and it stopped. You know, I remember hearing what these dudes were saying. There's was dead water. Remember dead water. And, you know, I was getting dragged into the brush. Officer Dittmar? No, no, Dittmar was where I was at. Dittmar. The, the road? Was, it was like, I remember.
remember Dim Bar in a, in a, in a was Dim Bar? Sounds familiar. Was it Congress Dim Bar? I don't know. I don't know the streets going out. I don't, I don't. That's why I don't go to the city no more. Yeah. But I, when I first hit the streets, I was taking the streets and down this way. So you feel like you're kind of um, off grid, like out of the out of the city more, because you're down at Slaughter. It feels different. It feels safer over here. Feels safer. Is that why people? I always wonder why do people go to certain areas. So when I got here, yeah, I have to make. I said I will never let a woman, child, or another person become victim of easy prey. Yeah. I will not tolerate it, and, and you know, I will fight it with my life, and I have. I've been in fights, and I've played out here, and I fought the train kids out because this is a hop out. I had to look like an easy target. I had, to, I had to make, because my father taught me a lot of things when I was younger. You know, like, don't become the victim. Keep, keep your enemies closer, where your friends, where all that. But it's like, that's how I feel about it people that run this town. That's how I feel about the cops. They, they, they have, they come down here with their weapons drawn, they hit that corner, and they, yeah, we're, you're gonna scare the shit out of us, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, people do what they do, recreational or whatever, but don't do that, man. Like, just say, hey man, we just wanna ask them questions or something, or say, hey, dude, or say whatever. Don't come here blazing guns, man, because they're pregnant people. That cost me scared. People can get, you can bring PTSD. There's dogs and yes, exactly. women and exactly. children. You don't have to be in, in a war or have anything like that to have PTSD. Yeah. It can be something that has traumatized you. Like me, fire traumatizes me. Fire. I've been in two fires where I saved people. People don't know about that. And I'm not going to tell people that. But it's, it's a thing that they don't know anything about what they're doing or who they're doing it to. They're just judging. They're just coming here to collect, to do their job, but they're not doing their job. I find that they don't clean up trash, that they just mess with people. They like, fuck with us bad. Like, if the trash is over there, it's no big deal. If the trash no, is next to you... No, because they come here. Yeah. We had all the trash bags in the barrel bins with purple ones. Uh -huh. No, man, I, I mean, that's my problem, okay? Whatever. But I made a point, because what they did was wrong. They left the trash in the purple barrel. Yes, they did. And they didn't pick them up. They didn't pick them up. They don't take the carts. I brought the carts back myself. 37 of them by myself, all the way up to the back of the HEB. Yeah, they left them, them right here that time, right? Yes, and I took I all of them back. Dollar they, General, everything, all rings. They put some of them in the landfill at some other places. It's so yeah, weird. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that, that's, that private, that's that private trailer, bro. Yeah. They take them and they just dump them. They don't give a fuck. Because to me, it's like they have like this little potluck dinner, and then they fucking, hey, who's number two? Hey, you get Johnny's things. Yeah, they just random select people. Or they go and they just sell them. You know? Side. I told him, I said, you ain't taking my shit. It says in a tent. It doesn't say in a erected tent. So I had a big old tent, right? I found down the train tracks. Mm -hmm. I put, I had six of these things. <laughs> no, no, the second time I got some. Make a theater in there. Yeah, I could have. I just stacked it in there. A so hookah it looked, lounge. It looked like an erected couch. Make a hookah lounge. You know, hookah exactly. Lounge. So I got what? Three, got two, three, three, love. Yeah. So, um, I know that you need a tent. What else do you guys need down here? Man, you need clothes. Clothes? How I, I would stress that so much. Like socks, my feet are so. Socks. Like, like my toes are like this because, just because I, ha I go, I have to be out there, and I have to, but it's just like I choose to be out there so I can bring some things back. Like I got a car back there that's full of plates, napkins, silverware, uh, food, and a Dollar General threw away. Yeah. And I hopped in the dumpster, and yes, I grabbed it. Does that make me a criminal? No, not in my eyes. No, it does not. Because this comes back to everybody that's down here. Mm -hmm. Because they want what? Something to eat on. Something Are they coming to, to get it? To Are y'all going to have a cookout? Are they coming to get yeah, it? How's man, it? We, we have, believe it or not, we do a cookout. We get together and we sit. Then we have, like, you see it, the bigger bomb pits are over there. In the circle. I did, oh, yeah, I saw the one. Yeah, yeah. that's what usually we're we get together. Yeah, it looked like a get-together spot. Yeah. 
that's like your like just like the old days, like yeah, exactly. before we had cars and everything. Yeah, exactly. Havoc is havoc because he he wants to do some spiritual thing in the morning, whatever. It that's needs to be thing. done, yeah. But I said I want to bring in something with that. Someone that we don't know and listen to the trials and tribulations every day, or try to. Or just yeah. say what's going on. Or just the news. Or, or, what's going on? How, how's your day going? News Something. on the streets. Thank you. Or, what's going on? How you feeling? Or like what happened to you today? Tell me about. Look, I got look at this. Yeah. This goes everywhere, bro. This is real life shit. Yeah, but that stuff can totally be done. Y'all should try to do that. Um, and I guarantee you, it will go. And it's in it, it, our get a non-profit organization to support this so we can get off the street something where we can have people work for something like these these apartments that we're talking about are like these motels or like mm -hmm. there's a lot of good people out there they're just they're, they're they don't know they're scared and they're fearful so they won't speak up that's why nothing's being said they give their money to the wrong people they give their money to chair non-profits that are stealing money from us exactly. Where's the food? Some lady dropped off a box and said it was from Donald Trump and it had cereal, milk, and everything. Where, where's that box of food at? What? Yeah. Uh, what was your name again? My name is Johnny. Johnny. Last name Quest. But, J O N Y Q U E S T. Okay. And do you, you don't mind me using your no, video? Go ahead, okay. man. I wanted to be heard. All right. That's my phone number, and that's the Lizardo Gigantic. It's two Z's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really it, yeah, no problem, man. I'm hey, sorry man. about all the problems. I hope we can find some food and clothing. You want it, it is what it is. It's like, because I'm not really, see, these things, people say, like, I don't have mirrors. You won't see a mirror around me. Yeah, you're not vain. Because I'm not, I'm not looking at myself. Yeah. Because I care about all of this. And there's a lot of love. And it's like, I, I've never been anywhere in my whole life in the world that has changed my life this much as this place down here. Just Austin, down here, Austin. or just Austin, right? It's so bullshit, so fucking phony and fake. It's so corrupt, weird. Not even weird. It's like fucking, like brainwashable to fuck with people's mental state. And it may, I believe that they are pushing this bullshit ass dope out here to make people fucked up. I've seen people that was fucking clear as day, fine. Two years later, I'm like, what are you doing? They're fucking smoking candle wax and bullshit. And fucking talking like fucking fairy tale characters. Mm -hmm. What happened to you, bro? I'm not like that. And I stay up all the fucking time. But that's for survival purposes of my life. Mm -hmm. I can adapt in any atmosphere, whatever scenery that they want to put me in, or whatever it is. And I come on top. Because it's here. Yeah. It's here. You have to push through that, man, and know that you got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Like, I left everything behind. Family, everything. I was a very family-oriented person. My father died in 2013. It crushed me. I was fucking addicted to drugs. Bad. Depressive. I was, didn't want to be around nobody. I was slowly killing myself. Mm -hmm. And I know what it's like to be an alcoholic. Yes, I do drink, but I have a beer and I'll sip on it for hours. Yeah. Because it's my, it's my copes to deal with the ease. Yeah. Whatever. Medicating, I, right? Just to slowly sip. Yeah. And but I eat healthy. I, I you know what I mean. I work out, and, and that's what people don't see. Mm -hmm. And I don't really like how the public perceives us. Yeah. And I'm a piece of shit. I want to put that shit on the sign. And be like, no, I'm a human being. Yeah. And there are some people among us that will like talk shit about us. Oh, and they'll man, say, I mean, well, I mean, people are dirty bullshit, yeah. or they're like this. And, and that's not useful to me. I never share that because hey, it's I not prove, useful. I prove them wrong. Yeah. I don't shower. Yeah. You smell me? Mm -hmm. No, I don't stink though. Because I don't shit or piss on myself. I hold myself to standards and I tell people, look, I don't fucking shower. My hands might be black, but I'm out here working my fucking ass off every day. Mm -hmm. I'm helping countless people in and out of here to try to do what? Look what I got. Nothing. Because all this shit to me. I sit my back ass over there like I did the first day I was down here against that wall right there. They may not come down. I don't know. I mean, I've seen them work as late as seven, but they usually cut out by four or five. Yeah, and it's got to be at least oh, three I by now. I would say, fuck no, you guys are leaving. No, you ain't coming in. It's
Lizardo Giganticus. Stato sul lato sweet! Stato sweet!